All right, everybody, we are almost ready. Just make sure I got everything. I believe I do. I believe I do. All right. Welcome to the show. All right. So, I have no idea because Pat is is taking care of some business today. And so I have no idea how many people are on. And um, so you guys can let me know. And then maybe I can see it from here. I don't know. But we got a special show for you today. And if you notice, there's a, a URL at the bottom. And it's another company that we started up. Uh, and, um, me and Rick Albertini has been working on this for probably a couple months. And uh, we've been uh, testing our shipping out and all that kind of stuff. And uh, what you'll see... In the bottom of the screen for Facebook, it's not on Instagram because it doesn't give me that option, is grillbeastfoods.com. We got our first two products up there right now. Hey, Steve Manis, Shannon Castle, Germ, how you doing, man? Russell, Jeff Robinson, Kathy, Lucas, Steven, Bayou Rick. Um, like I said, oh, we got 38 so far. That's cool. That's a start. And so look. We got something special going on today. So um, we've been talking a lot, and I've even used it on other shows, um, our Jameson boudin. I'm doing the crawfish boudin today, and I'm not just throwing it on the grill. I'm doing something different with it. So I'm going to cut open the casing. I'm going to use it to do stuffed sweet peppers and stuffed mushrooms. All right? And uh, it's real simple. But uh, if you can imagine having a, crawf a creamy crawfish um, boudin, uh, I know it, boudin has a lot of different spices. It's got green onion, um, it's got rice, um, it has like this, it has the crawfish, and then you could also do the pork. Um, um, and then they also, there's all kinds of different kinds of uh, boudin out there. Uh, but we are exclusive distributors for Jameson Boudin uh, nationwide. Here, let me fix this real quick. And then, um, um, so if you live outside of this local area, the only way to get this boot in is from us. So um, anyway, I want to show it to you. I want to um, get it on the grill. It it's about, takes about 15 minutes to, um, uh, let me see. Sounds great. Everything is great. Drink a bottle of James. <laughs> oh, Billy. Yeah, all right, good. Uh, this, is, this is better than the Jameson you drank. I promise you that. Um, anyway, let me get started. Uh, I've already got it thawed out. I actually had took it out of my freezer early, early, early this morning. Slide this thing in, get it out of my way. Yeah. There we go. All right, can everybody see okay? I hope everybody can see okay. Right now, I can barely see comments. How many people we got on right now, Rick? Let me see how many people we got on. I don't want people to miss this. We're at 70. All right, cool. That's growing. You know what you all could do to help it grow better and faster is if you haven't already, share this feed to uh, other groups, um, friends, family, all those kind of things, and uh, let them know that we're doing some really cool stuff with some uh, Jameson Boudin. All right? So, got my, uh, my Beast Nitro gloves from Grill Beast on here. You haven't seen how strong these gloves are? Look at that. You know what I'm missing? Oh, no, I'm not. I got them right there. Got my Grill Beast armor over there, too. All right, so this is a real quick, real easy dish. Like I said, I'm going to cut the casing open and just lay it out. You're going to see this stuff has big old chunks of crawfish in it. It's not just ground up. When you get this from us, it is fresh. And uh, like I said, we've been testing that. I've been talking to customers what we've had so far just to ask them what they think. And one of the comments I've been getting is they didn't realize how fresh it was. So, um, but that was good to hear that, that it was noticed. All right, so look, 
Like literally, that's all you do, right? And so I'm gonna use the beast mo roaster. I'm gonna do half of this in, uh, in mushrooms and the other half is gonna go into peppers. I wonder if I got enough. I don't know if I thawed out enough of it or not. The problem is getting this, these mushrooms to stand up and not roll over. So is anybody growing anything today? There you go. So you just keep stuffing it full. Guess I could just use my hands. Might make it easier, I don't know. So what you'll notice is the crawfish boudin also has pork in it. So you kind of get the best of both worlds in one. Right? Yeah, look. Oh, shit. I broke one. Hold on. Keep finishing up. I'll check in a minute, see if there's any questions about anything. Well, look, the, uh, the Grill Beast Foods website was just put up yesterday. We still need to work on images better. We're going to get some good pictures today and some video out of this today. And uh, over time, that website will be every bit as good as the Grill Beast website. Oh yeah, this is going to be plenty. I was afraid we weren't going to have enough. But uh, I think we're good. Hold on just a second. I'm going to bring... After I do these, I'm going to bring this one over. Just so you can see all the good stuff that's in this. And then when this heats up... So technically, everything in here is already cooked. Right? But, and you know, so technically you could eat it just like it is. But, um, but it's way better whenever you uh, uh, grill it. You can grill it on your grill, put it in your smoker, you can put it in your oven, put it in a toaster oven. Um, you can do it in a skillet. Um, you can do it almost any way you want. I like it better um, either grill or, uh, or broiled in the oven, if, if that's your only way to do it. Um, and you can do it dif different temperatures too. So look at that. A big old crawfish on there. You can do it at different temperatures and um, depending on how you like it. Some people like it a little crispy. Um, another thing that you'll notice a lot of times when you cook it and um, uh, you do it on a grill it might split open. You know how sausage does. It does kind of the same way. But the stuff that oozes out and it gets crispy, man that's a whole nother treat. It's a whole nother treat. Uh oh. There we go. We'll get a couple more here. I got a lot of them here, so I think this is going to be the last one. But almost every one of these has a crawfish in it. Let me show you. The, let me show you something real quick. Just so you can see what's inside like can you see this like it's got chunks of uh, pork in here it's got big crawfish in here uh, lots of rice it's not like a lot of boudin you get it's overdone with the rice and that's almost like all you get but not with this I'm telling you and when this heats up and that juice starts uh, running I'm telling you watch you'll see you will see. And so look, let me put this aside. <coughs> Stuff these peppers. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going to be good. Something else I'm going to do to these. After I put these in, I'm going to fry some bacon up. 
and uh, we're gonna put some crushed bacon on uh, on these. All right. Yeah, it's easier with the hand. Easier with the hand. Oh man. I got a buddy of mine on his way. I'm hoping he, he gets here in time to taste these um, before they're all gone. There you go. Anybody got any questions yet? Let me go look over here at the camera. Any questions? Yep, Groby's Foods, 50 bucks for five pounds. In bed, uh, Groby's Food Banners. Oh, is it? No, the Groby's Food Banner's not in the way, is it? Uh, can anybody verify whether that banner's in the way? I can remove the banner if you need to. How many people we got on right now? And I can move the camera if I need to. Uh, do they make boudin without rice? Uh, yeah, so we don't have uh, the boudin without rice available yet, but um, we, we are going to start carrying boudin. And so instead of the rice, it's going to have cauliflower, which is also freaking outrageous on flavor. Uh, thinking about doing up some beef ribs. Awesome. Can you tell me how many people are on? Somebody, anybody. I just want to know where we're at. Um, also, can you, can you, if you if you guys can share this feed, try to help get more people here to check out this boudin, it'd be awesome. Truly appreciate it. All right. Let me finish these bad boys up so we can get some bacon on. This is going to be a big one. A nice treat for somebody. Almost got it. We got a little bit of a rain here today. Bayou Rick was supposed to come by today. He's talking about it. He just got back into town. He come by and hang out. Maybe he'll be here next week. I don't know. So what you'll notice too what maybe you won't notice it but so when you buy boudin in this if you do have boudin near you in a store you have a lot of preservatives and uh, usually they are overpacked with rice um, and that's one of the great things about this boudin one you don't have all these preservatives everything is fresh like this stuff is made every day locally um, and it doesn't have all the preservatives that as we all know are not good for you, right? All right, look, we are almost done. Watch what this looks like when it comes out. Woo! You get some of this, you make it for your friends. Dude, this is good tailgating food. It's good Christmas holiday appetizers. I mean, it's just, it's good for any time. Put all this in there. Y'all hear that rain? All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, give me a new pair of gloves on here. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan, I mean, uh, a little bit of mozzarella just on some of these, not on all of them. Um, that way you have options, right? So, I'm just gonna like put a little bit of, you know, every few, and it doesn't need a whole lot. You just want just a little bit, right? A lot of that's gonna fall off. So I'll put mozzarella on like half of them.
All right, that's good. I got my smoker going on uh, at 350. I'm using the pit, the pit boss. See how easy these trays make it? These are the beach roasters. We'll let those go for about 15 minutes. Thirsty. So, I got the flat top rocking right now. I'm going to throw in some uh, some uh, bacon, <clears throat> and uh, just want to see if there's any uh, any um, any questions. Let me see. Yes, today, Dan. Uh, right. I don't know if I see any questions. Yep. Bacon will be on there. All right, look, let me get the bacon. I got the bacon in the fridge right here, keeping it cold. Let me throw a, a glove. Oh, I took that glove off. I just wasted a glove. Oh, actually. <clears throat> Again, these are our Beast Nitro gloves. They're on our website. I'm pretty sure everybody that has used them Literally, I, I've had zero complaints about these gloves. Zero. Uh, which is always awesome. Alright, so I'm going to bring this over here. So, uh, yeah, I had this in the... Um, in the fridge, keeping it nice and chilled. We don't need a ton of bacon, just uh, just enough. I'm hoping to have an extra piece for me. Well, I will have an extra piece for me. Turn this up a little bit. Turn this one off. Yeah, there we go. All right, in just a few minutes, we'll have bacon, and we'll have our uh, boudin stuff, um, our boudin stuffed, let me see what we got here, let's see, I need to cut up, I need to cut up my scallions, my, my green onions, let me see. Is that good? I'm going to Groovy's Foods and I'll watch the replay later. Yeah, man. So look, um, I'm actually going to, I'm going to be putting video clips from this episode on the Groovy's Foods website, uh, hopefully sometime in the next few days. Um, you know, some of this is a little bit, I don't want to say slow going, but um, I'm using my, my, uh, my cut board that it was actually a gift from the Drinking and Grilling Group. Get some of this stuff out the way. Put this underneath. And this over here. Cut me up uh, a couple of these. This should be enough. I don't need nobody making fun of my knife skills either.
should be enough. <coughs> All right. So let me get some of this out the way. It's right here, actually. Pull those off. I'll set them on my beast armor. Beast armor can also be used for, uh, you know, like uh, pot holders, right? Keep from burning up stuff. Couple more minutes on the bacon. questions we got we got a little bit of time left yeah I'm leaving it on 350 <coughs> you go heating it up too fast you'll get you'll get you'll start getting burned on the bottom on your or on, on the outside and stuff without it getting cooked on the inside so you want to keep that temperature right around 350 that's the temperature I like anyway. Uh, that bacon will be done in a minute. Does anybody have any questions? Any questions about anything? Need to plant your green onion bulbs. I actually cut those bulbs up, man. I eat them. Um, I cut, I cut the, the entire thing up. I just throw it. Are you talking about the root itself? Well, I don't know. Maybe you need to school me on that a little bit, buddy. Uh, do you have pork? Free boot in. Um, uh, David, uh, Chef David, glad, glad, gladiness. Um, I don't, I don't believe so. I can find out though. I don't think that that's, as far as I know, it's not an option. But I'll, let me check, man. Um, if you want to send me an email at david at grillbeast.com, that way I don't forget to check and I can get back to you directly and I won't forget about it. All right. Uh, Russell, uh, 105 on. I'm not sure what that means. Um, let me see. No questions. I'm looking at uh, Instagram at the same time. Do they have mud bug free? Yes, they do have mud bug free boudins. You can get regular pork boudin. All right. The regular pork boudin is on there. You'll see it. Okay. I did not know that about the, uh, the green onions. So let me uh, go check out this bacon. Ooh, the bacon is done. The bacon is done. Let me flip one quick time here. Yeah, that's, uh, give it one second. Turn everything off. Uh, can somebody give me an idea how many people? Oh, we got 110 people. All right. Well, it's not bad. We were off last week. I had to go to um, uh, Phoenix, Arizona. That's where our warehouse was. And now our warehouse is good. For now, it's going to be back in Louisiana. And um, in the next month or something, it might be in uh, Mississippi. So, um, we got like a little bit of time, uh, just a few minutes and then we'll be eating, we'll be tasting this up and, um, I believe everybody's going to be, uh, well, you're not eating so you're not going to be as happy as me, right? Um, but yeah, so for the boudin, I don't know if anybody's asking, is that grillbeastfoods.com? You can also go to grillbeastmeats.com, it goes to the same place. I mean, yeah, you need some bacon, buddy. Good morning, all. Vanessa Reed, Ivan, Casey, um, John, Mike C. Rick has been answering a lot of the food questions. Oh, cool, yeah, so Rick's been answering the food questions. Rick knows all about the food stuff. Uh, like I said, this is a project me and Rick has been working on for probably a solid couple months, and it's starting to come together now. We're going to have um, 
all kinds of uh, different exotic type meats and other types of foods. That's why we call it a Grubby's Foods and not just Grubby's Meats. Um, we're going to have rattlesnake, uh, python steaks, um, uh, elk, um, uh, kangaroo, um, all different kinds of sausages. We're going to have gator. I mean, every, all kinds of stuff. A lot of, most of the stuff is hard to get in the grocery store. And I do want to point out something. So shipping, like we have to ship sometimes in a cooler like this right to keep it cold keep it fresh um, and then we're having special styrofoam uh, containers made up now um, so I just want to kind of give you an idea like you know it comes in this with some ice packs we're looking at other options other than ice packs but um, so when you get it you're gonna you're gonna get a box like this depending on how much stuff you get and um, it, it all be nice and cold and vacuum sealed and all that kind of stuff and every time we ship, we learn something and we improve it. Uh, like I said, I've talked to uh, quite a few people that we've already shipped to just to understand um, how everything arrived. And um, uh, we did have a couple failures. We had to reship, but that's just the way it is, right? You know, as long as we fix it, it's all good. But anyway, yeah, I just want to let you see, like, you're going to get, like, it's in a styrofoam cooler. And uh, like I said, we're having a uh, uh, specific sizes and densities um, uh, made for what we're doing and uh, I just thought that's a good idea just to show you that let me look and see what we got I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes just a couple more minutes if you uh, look what I got here so I've had this thing this was a bottle of sh champagne that somebody gave me a long time ago, and I've never used it for anything, and, uh, but it works for ice. All right? Keep your ice good. Um, what's everybody grilling today? Is anybody having a little Sunday cocktail? 110 people, that's good. So we're holding true right about 110. For being gone, so usually when we're gone for a week, um, our numbers always dropped in very next week. And uh, I guess it's just because we missed a week, right? But uh, I can't do it every single week, you know? Um, I don't like missing them. Now that we have um, the Grill Beast foods involved with the Grill Beast accessories, it's all, it's not one company, it's two different companies, but it, it all gels together, it all goes together. So, uh, We'll be able to make our shows uh, way more interesting to me and way more interesting to you. Sometimes it's going to be appetizers like this. Sometimes it's going to be rattlesnake or, or uh, kangaroo or, or, or something like that, right? And then other times it might just be we might go back to just a regular doing a meatloaf on the grill, you know? I think I can pull these out. Tried. Actually, these do go over the gloves. So, it works out pretty good. So, let me, um, uh, oh yeah, all right, oh my god, Woo. this is going to be awesome. All right. Drag goes that way. So, I think 
think I'm going to do this. So some of these have um, mozzarella on them and some of them don't. I think I'm going to mix match them all the way through. Right? They are hot. And they're juicy. <coughs> and I'm going to do one on a long plate and then one on a short plate. A little bit hot, a little bit hot. Oh my God. Yeah, these are gonna be really good. You see the crawfish hanging out of them? Crush my bacon up. Can y'all see? I know I'm not saying anything right now. I'm just trying to concentrate on what I'm doing. And uh, I want this to come out nice.
that's it. Let me uh, bring this over here. Can you see him? That look all right. All right. So let me get down here. I gotta get in. You should have stuck from Jasmine. I could see some help building a ramp. What? Silence like a golf tournament. Yeah, right. Um, so anyway, hopefully they look good, right? You can see them with mushroom and sweet pepper stuffed with Jameson crawfish boudin. Right, same thing here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to eat one of these. I saved some bacon for it. And then uh, I'll hit it with a little bit of cheese. So these, like this one's big enough or small enough, I can get the whole thing. A couple of these are like two biters, but most of it, most of this for me, it's a one biter. Oh my God. That's exactly what I expected it to taste like, but better. So this is that's pretty much a wrap. Um, I got everything done. I'm gonna crank this down a little bit. We can chit chat a little bit if you want. But that's basically it. We are done. Right? Um, let me turn this. So hopefully, it was a decent show. Right? I think it was good. If you could taste the food, you would definitely know it was a decent show. I wish my buddy would hurry up and uh, he could taste it for you. Uh, let me see. Nah, he's not gonna make it. He, um, he's not even leaving his house till about now. <coughs> so it's cool. He's gonna miss out because I'm actually gonna have half of these eaten before he gets here. I gotta take some pictures for Instagram and the website and all that good good stuff. And then um, and then that's it for me. Uh, let me see, will you talk and remove banner? Couldn't see, oh, you couldn't see the plate. Um, yeah, right, Lucas, you are 100% right there, buddy. Uh, yeah, so if you couldn't see the plate, I apologize. So, there it is. There's Instagram. And then, so Instagram too. I'm gonna have me another one, dude. I'm telling you, these things are freaking awesome. Put some bacon on there. Scat oh man, I didn't get the scallion on the one I tasted. Crap. Let me uh See this one's a two biter. Mmm. I'm telling you, when you taste this boudin, it is the most creamiest, succulent flavor. It's the, it's the perfect uh, combination, perfect um, amount of rice. It's not, like most boudin has like a lot of rice or a lot of something. This 
the overall flavor is the type of boudin it is. So the overall flavor for this is the um, the crawfish, right? And that's the way it should be. When you're buying crawfish boudin, you should be able to taste crawfish. <clears throat> Every one of these has a chunk of crawfish in it, right? That's how much crawfish is throughout that that um, that sausage. And that that what you saw on that on the uh, cutting board, that was one pound of sausage. So like the minimum order is five pounds. So it's five times that is what would be in your order. Mm. Phil Gamboja, how you doing, buddy? Jeremy Mack. Jeremy's had some of the boot in. Um, who else has had boot in? We've had a bunch of people by now had to boot in. Um, Shannon's had to boot in. Dan's had to boot in. Um, Vicky has had to boot in. Um, Mark has had to boot in. I, I can't get his last name straight right this second. Um, we've had lots of it, buddy. So does anybody have any questions about the boot in, about the website, uh, about any of the Grubby's tools? So here's the cool thing too. Anybody who's done business with Grill Beast, it's the same customer service, right? And because like when I started Grill Beast, my thought was how could I compete with with those big companies, right? Like Weber and you know, all those big guys. It's been around for you know, forever. They're all dinosaurs now, right? They they operate like the old days. And um like I don't know if, you know, people that are old enough to remember, customer service uh, didn't used to be what it is now. A lot of times you call a company and you have a problem, they almost didn't care, right? And now it's a different world. And, uh, but some of those big, big companies still operate that way because it's hard to turn a big ship. And so one thing I knew I could compete on is customer service. And, um, and that's, that, that was our angle. You know, we do quality tools and good customer service. And so it's kind of the same concept when it comes to the exotic meats or the food uh, business, the Grill Beast Foods. <clears throat> uh, one, uh, the customer service we already know is going to be the best. And, um, and we're going to get the best meats, the p meats that, that majority of America can't get, right? Like, if you live in Louisiana, you're getting booed in. You're not, you might not be getting Jameson boudin, but you're getting all kinds of other boudin and all that. And if you live local to um, New Orleans, Bell Chase, Gretna, uh, Covington, Madisonville, you know, all that area in New Orleans or, or in Louisiana, you're able to get Jameson boudin, you can, but you might have to drive an hour to get it. Um, but if you live outside, you're not getting it. And this dude is backed up for weeks, like weeks, his orders. And that's just local business. But we get, we get deliveries every week. We call them up, we send them a message, and I'm picking up Boudin today to ship next week. So um, that's how fast we can get it. Nobody else can get it that fast. Nobody else ships it out nationwide but us. Um, so we're, we're in a good position with this. And it's a very fair price. The shipping is fair. I mean, you can see what we have to ship, what we ship it in. We take all the care that we can with shipping it. Um, you know, I don't know what else to say. It's just nothing but good stuff. Um, not one person, not one person's complained about the food. Um, it is, or the boot in. And then we also, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to talk about our crawfish pies or other products right now. I just, I'm concentrating on the boot in because the boot in is what we're working with today. Uh, other shows, we're going to have other foods. Like every time we bring a new thing on, like when we bring on rattlesnake, we're going to do something with the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake's not going to be an appetizer, though, because a rattlesnake, well, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to try to explain it because um, it, that's a whole other conversation. So, Diane, um, William, uh, who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Hey, how many people? Can somebody let me know how many people we're on? That way I know where I'm sitting at. And uh, if, we're, if we're starting to drop off, then I know the show is about over. Basically, our, our show is, is cooked. And I'm, that is no BS outrageous I mean really good and it just added a whole different twist to it by throwing it in 
<clears throat> the peppers. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat me a um a mushroom here in a second. But um let me see. Uh about to order my gloves right now, but I have to have them by fifteen while I'll get them for the six buck shipping. Uh so what's the data today? Today data today is is the fourth. Yeah, so um yeah, so if you order today They'll ship out tomorrow, and you'll have them by Wednesday or Thursday. All right? And that, that goes, listen, that, so when you order um, from Groby's Foods, it's different. Because it depends on the day, because then we have to get it made fresh, and then we ship it. So uh, it's not shipped the next day when you order the boudin or the crawfish pies, right? Or any, it, it's not going to ship as quick as, as like when you order Groby's Accessories. Uh, grow beef accessories we have in in, in, the, in the storage and we just pack it up and and roll it out uh, but when you order the food we we make we get it fresh and then we ship it uh, I need to work on Christmas gifts for the grillers I keep eyeing up your barrel house cookers <coughs> yep barrel house cookers are uh, the only product that we sell that is not a grill beast product um, and it's because we really do trust we, we we believe and trust in the product and, and we know the owners. They're awesome people. They're great people to deal with. They stand behind their product too. Um, anytime there's ever been an issue, um, I just send a note and, and they are on it. Like white on rice, like they say. Amy Jackson Ford, 63. Okay, so we're down to 60 some people. So yeah, show's about over. Um, just ordered. All right, Dave. Um, awesome. Appreciate that. And... Um, um, I'm, I don't know if you're talking about a Groby's accessory, a Groby's food product, but either way, it's truly appreciated. We love our customers, and uh, we're here almost every Sunday. If you're not on the Grill Beast VIP group, go to Grill Beast, search for Grill Beast VIP in um, Facebook. It's a great group. Um, we give special deals sometimes to the group and that you can't get from anywhere else. Uh, oh, Rick already saw and like them. All right, cool. All right, everybody, um, we're pretty much done and we're out and we're done right now. It's 12 minutes early. This has been the quickest show I've done yet. Surprising. No, second quickest. All right, so um, love you guys. Talk to you later. Remember, grillbeastfoods.com. And um, that's it. Talk to you all later.